Hello, I'm Daniel. How are you guys? I'm back here, not doing my X series today. I'm just creating a tutorial how to use uh, this amazing mod that is Tinker Construct. I find that it's hard to find in the, the internet itself. A lot of people work in this mod, and uh, I know a lot of people trying to do videos and they have no idea how it works at all. So, what I'm gonna do is try to show you guys how to start how to use in a practical way I'm not gonna do every detail of the mod itself but uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to use it in a regular way so first thing you start the game with this book here that is the materials and you from Skyla so what shows here is what you can get with that it's good to read uh, it says what they add in the mod like or bare bushes and uh, that's pretty useful. You need nine of them because each each berry, w when you cook, gonna give you just uh, one uh, nine part of the uh, ingot. So you have nine of them at least to make one ingot. So it takes a long time, but uh, well, it's is good to have at least. So those are uh, the first the starting part. So I'm gonna work every one of them well except this one here the to two forge this is a more advanced one but uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to work that uh, something that is really really important to start is grout grout is made by sand gravel and uh, clay so first thing to do is to gather at least I would say I, I advise you guys to get at least two stacks of each one uh, clay is very easy to get like you uh, to complete two stacks are really really easy so what I'm gonna do of course uh, I'm in a creative mode so I'm gonna have here clay and uh, no one but uh there you go one two stacks of clay sand same thing it's fun because I don't know what happened here. Okay, there you go. I must hold shift to get 64. Uh, well, I'm not really used to creative mode. I use sometimes, yes, but uh, not so much. So I have no idea how it works properly. Okay, so I got everything I need here. Uh, well, not really. I'm gonna need a furnace. Got a cup of them and uh, what else you gonna need like uh, coal or something uh, that I'm, I'm trying to use all the materials you're gonna have in the first wh when you start the game so that that's the idea itself so with that I can start here I don't know what I got 64 because I can place lots of them so let's just work those two at, well four four will be good and I have a shako that one know how to do that too. So what I'm gonna do is to I need a crafting table too. Crafting table. Let's get a weird one. Uh, that's good. And uh, what I'm gonna put this. Uh, that's not good. I just I don't, yeah I don't need furnace anymore. So crafting table. I'm gonna get this nice one here. So that's good. Uh, I'm gonna put it here. And what I'm gonna do is mix that those three and have the grout itself. You notice that for every stack of each one, you're gonna have two stacks of grout. So that's what happened here. I have like two stacks. And that's why I said, you guys, you're gonna need like three. So you're gonna have like four stacks. Why so much? Yeah, yeah, I, I gotta show you guys. So what I'm gonna do is to put that to cook. Uh, there you go. And this. And let me get more coal. You guys probably think why if you're in creative mode, why you're not getting everything directly from there because I I want to show you guys how exactly works just in case you're like in creative mode or something so no, not in creative mode but uh, in the survival mode and that's the full idea so once I got those down here I gotta show how to do other things 
Uh, first, I gonna need uh, like some wood. So yeah, uh, the three captator. That's something everyone asks. How sometimes? Oh, that's weird. I don't know what happened. The the tree just dismantled over my head. Yeah, is the tree captator mod really really useful? So I it, it's nice because you can break all the tree easily. It, it's amazing. So okay, now I have a lot of food. I gotta show you guys what I gonna need to do. Uh, I I I have to keep at least one raw piece of wood, but all the rest I can transform. No big issue. So I gonna need lots of sticks. I would say more than that. There you go. Well, not too much, but that's okay. So I gotta first start with this blank patterns. Lots of them. I have like 32. Why I gonna use them? Because you use the the, the pattern itself to create a lot of things. First is this one here. This is stencil table. So. And when I do this, I'm gonna receive the second book. I'm gonna read that second book later, but uh, I'm gonna show why I kept this one here. It's because when you put over, you're gonna have a second part is a part builder. And the third one is gonna be when you have a crafting table and you put a crafting table with a black pattern, you're gonna have the third one, the two station. So those are the three first you need to create in order to start with the, this mod here. So once you have this, I always advise you guys to have at least a place to store your stencils. So you have to have a chest and you put one over, you're gonna have a pattern chest. All good? So once you have all those four, you're good to start. So what I'm gonna do, I'm uh, gonna place those things here and there you go. Uh, what are you gonna put this? Uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna use this side here. So, one, two, and three. Uh, when when I open this one here, first thing you're gonna see there's a space for patterns. That's the one I'm gonna put all your patterns. And here you can have like a pickaxe head, a uh, shovel head, axe head, and everything. Why? Because you have to build all your tools part by part. Uh, if you guys played that like uh, three, four months ago, you notice that you can do like steel tools directly from here. Not gonna work anymore. You have, you must have a forge. Uh, not a forge, but a. Uh, I forgot the name. I gotta. It's gonna come sooner. Uh, well, anyway, you have to melt the ores first and then you get to have to create patterns so you can use this so you have lots of them here and everyone uh, even new ones and everything really nice so I'm not gonna work with that right now uh, is getting late so yeah I think it's like this like set time uh, 6 a.m. or something. I have no idea how to go to day mode. Yeah, that, that, okay, reset mode, utility mode. Not this one, and, pro uh, yeah, that's the one. Okay. It's there again. Easy. <laughs> oh, it must be zero, 00. Anyway, I probably typed something wrong. Well, the second one is gonna be the part builder. Part builder is the one you're gonna create things with that. For this one here, what I suggest is dig a hole on the back and put your pattern chest. Why? Because when you click like this, you see the pattern chest here? Yes, you can store your patterns. So the idea is get one of each pattern. So I'm gonna have one of each one for you guys here. That's uh, gonna be the, the easiest way to, to get off them, or else I have to search on not enough items for hours. And uh, that's probably the best way to go. So, yeah, there's a lot of things that uh, perhaps you guys have no idea. I see an Enderman stealing a grass block in the back. Yeah, I saw you. And what else? What else? A knife blade. You, you can do weapons, you can do uh, tools, a lot of things. Uh, uh, and uh, mega tools. I, I'm gonna show that later, like the tough binding and everything. Large plate. 
there are a lot of things that are really amazing here and I need to show you guys later oh that's a lot of patterns right yeah it's not finished yet so that's why I said get a lot of black patterns so really really useful so you can fill up your pattern chest with a lot of those things and it's almost finishing as I have my inventory almost completely full so yeah and it's finished just in time because I run out of space so what I'm gonna do is to put everything on the chest itself and uh, I gotta keep that in there for the moment those two okay so what I'm gonna need right now is cobblestone cobblestone must be here somewhere yep why cobblestone let me show you uh, I don't need this anymore I don't need saplings okay why cobblestone because you're probably gonna need that to create things let's just split that in half and I'm gonna show how to create uh, I'm gonna need another chest too so yeah there you go that's a nice nice beautiful chest here so okay I'm gonna put on side so what I'm doing right now is like I put the, the pattern here I put the material I want to create it works only for blocks like stone, uh, cobblestones, few things like this. And what I need to do is kind of one of each one. For the moment, I'm not gonna do every everything I have here. I just create like uh, the basic ones, and I just need to find my two rod. It must be somewhere around here. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, if you notice this uh, the first one just give me a stone pickaxe head this one gives me one rod and one stone shard what is this it means to have one like this material cost is half so you give like half stone is the stone shard is a half so what I'm gonna do is get one like this and with this one here I can put here in the bottom and I can use that to create the second part that is two binding pattern that use half of material too if I put here on top you're gonna give like one and a uh, like half and a half but if I put here I just use the half part you use so you, you save material with that so that's why I'm explaining how to do like from the from the beginning itself so that's the idea of this tutorial here now I have those three that's gonna be my base how to work things all good so let me check if I have here yeah it's almost finished that's pretty good so let's see I have something extra to do no not really I'm gonna read the second book now so second book when you create the first uh, I think it is the stencil table it's gonna give you that materials and you volume 2 what happened here it's gonna show what to do with that like if you wanna pickaxe like I'm doing you need the pickaxe head the two rod and two binding you need to combine, the, combine those tr three and you're gonna have something like if you want a shovel you have this hatchet and there you go and we have something new that is a matak what is a matak has an axe head a shovel head and a two rod it means you're gonna dig earth you're gonna cut trees at the same time and when you right click has a special effect that is a, a hole so that's pretty useful that's one that I always advise you guys to do it that's amazing and then we have some weapons there you go one of them is really weird is a frying pan that I'm gonna create you guys gonna see how it works too that that's a really good one not as a weapon but uh, they have a second thing uh, well you can place in the ground and uh, cooks a large amount of food at time how it says here it is really nice and we're gonna have like battle sign that that's a <laughs> that's a funny weapon and you have a chisel this you can chisel blocks and you can transform blocks in other blocks so that's pretty good if you want to decorate your house you have a super hammer and a lumber axe those are more advanced ones you use a lot of materials I think every plate like this use like six or eight materials I have to check that later but a well like excavator 
uh, instead of mining just one block and a mine a 3x3 three three area and that's it then material traits what does it show here is that it shows durability, handle modifier and total full durability what does it mean? if I create a pickaxe using wood so I have for the wood durability of 59 and if my handle is uh, a stick I, uh, is made of wood too you're gonna have a one time handle modifier what does it mean? is 59 times 1 so I'm gonna have a tool with a durability of 59 let's say if I create something in stone I'm gonna have a durability of 131 but the handle modifier is half so this is gonna cut in half so instead of doing stone probably what I'm gonna do oh, let's say uh, that, that's why full, full to durability 65 that's a uh, half of this so well easy if you want to create something really really basic you create something with a stone or a cobblestone you're gonna have a good durability and you just need to use a wood handle you're gonna have like one time so instead of 65 you're gonna have 131 but if you're gonna go a little further than that you're gonna need like work with ours like iron uh, you have you well, can do pretty much everything flint cactus bone that bone bone is kind of really nice because durability is really high and uh, you have a uh, not so good mining speed but that's okay now mining speed is something that is really really nice to have uh, if you guys want to know right away which material is the one that has the most mine uh, the biggest mine speed is gonna be the cobalt one uh, you're gonna have new ores like the alumite ingot here uh, it made by mixing a few other materials I'm gonna show that on book 3 and you ha can have like slime uh, slime is one that has amazing durability and you have the handle modifier it's amazing so it's gonna last forever only problem mining speed 1.5 it's gonna take years if you want to <laughs> break something well that, that that's a really good thing if you want to keep that forever like green slime even better like 3000 but truly the time it's gonna take to dig down probably you guys wanna do this as fast as possible and uh, here is how to do slime crystal you have to mix slime with uh, dirt and sand you're gonna have like this you cook that and there you go easy to understand paper this is weird what, what the durability is nothing the handle on the fire is terrible so total full durability is gonna be nine you you like break nine stones and it's gone good thing about that you can have another modifier so instead of three you're gonna have the fourth modifier and you can add up another two so you can have total of six modifiers and you can increase durability with that uh, i'm gonna show you guys how to do that later oh here is cobalt is the one that has the biggest mining speed so it's 11 you have ardite and manling or something like this this, this is a really good one it is a good mining speed and the one that has the biggest durability possible well uh, you know that well combine two of them that's the best material you can have but that's is not a regular material you're gonna find in the way you just need to create that using ardite and cobalt those two new ores you only found in nether so and you have copper bronze steel and everything uh, this part says how to increase the modifier like if I put a diamond here I gonna add like tip, diamond tips on the, the to itself and increase the mining speed to obsidian level so increase level 3, 3 is obsidian level by the way the Ardite and Cobalt Ores, you need my speed at least 4. So you're gonna need something a little more powerful than that. They're gonna be the Alumite. So there you go. Mine level 4. All good. So now that we understand what it means, uh, you can put an uh, Emerald here and it's gonna give you 50% more durability, including the 500 extra when you put a diamond so let's say I have a tool like this I put a diamond gonna have like the two plus 500 let's say I do a manually 
pickaxe and I put a diamond. Gonna be three thousand plus five hundred. Gonna be thirty five hundred. And I add like fifty percent over that, so it's gonna be a uh, thousand seven hundred fifty extra on that durability. That's pretty good. Second thing I can put is speed. If I put like uh, redstone blocks or ores, every fifty you're gonna increase like four. Let's say if I have like a cobalt pickaxe, is right mine mining speed is eleven. If I put like fifty blocks. Uh, not fifth blocks, but a uh, fifth ores of uh, redstone dust. I gonna increase that in four. It's pretty amazing. I gonna have like a thirteen, and I I use just one mod fire. If I wanna use all my mod fires, like three mod fires just on that, I gonna increase in twelve. So you're gonna be insane. You can like it's the most creative mode. Uh, you can break blocks like one hit the most. It's really really fast. Something that is really useful first when we want to play exit, that's one of you gonna love the most is the auto repair. For that you need moss. To have moss, there you go. I have the recipe down here. Yeah, you have like nine blocks, like cobblestone with the moss or something, and gonna give one buff moss. For the lava crystal, you're gonna have that's the lava crystal. That's how you do it. And uh, what shows is that you're gonna have an out smelt too. So how it works? If you dig like sand, it's gonna give you glass. If you break some cobblestones, it's gonna give you stone because you're gonna cook around the ore when it goes. If you break uh, uh, iron ore or something like this, it's gonna give you an ingot directly. So this is really nice out smelting too, and you can have like lucky. Adds fortune on loot, depends on the type. That, that is really nice too. What else? You can have sharpness on weapons with a nether crystal. Fury, if you s want to set enemies in fire, you can put a lot of things like necrot. You have a you need necrot bone. There you go. Silky, you're gonna have like silk weapons. Remember when you say, Oh, I just want to uh, enchant something to have a silk weapon. That's gonna be a silk uh, pickaxe. They're gonna be sick. Yeah. You can create one right now. You don't need to try to try your luck using all the mods. Okay, that's how you do silk clothes, Jill, and uh, how to reinforce things. Uh, you can add reinforces. It's amazing. That's a really good one. Every time you put reinforced, I don't know how, if you guys know how exactly it works. Reinf reinforced it means that. Uh, one in each four use or something. I don't remember exactly the, the proportion, but you're not gonna use one durability when you use that. So that's pretty nice. Let's say you dig like uh, you 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 break four cobblestones, just count three durability down. So that's good for one level reinforce. If you put more levels, even better. But this used like the the modifier. And you can have knockback, that's uh, kind of weird, but that's okay, uh, the way it works. Beheading, if you want to cut some heads, that's amazing. If you want to make a big, big, big collection of heads, that's the way to go. It works like a charm. If you want to have Bane of Arthropodes, that's it. Uh, Smite, uh, well, you can create some soils, I'm gonna show you guys that later. Electric, you can have like. Uh, you, you must have some charged thing instead of use durability you're gonna use the battery you have you're using let's say you have something that has a battery good you're gonna use the energy from that instead of using the durability of the tool of course on the, once you finish the, the the energy you have stored on you you're gonna start using durability and that's how to add an additional modifier as I said before one diamond one block of gold instead of having just three on the start you're gonna have a fourth one and there's another way to have a nether star but that's kind of hard to use so probably you're gonna have on this third uh, beginning of your gameplay that's that's not hard to have you just need like nine iron ingots and one diamond not really hard in exit you find diamonds like you find flowers so that's pretty much easy to have like, one extra modifier, not a second one. Second one gonna take a while. But even though if you have just four, it's a red a lot. And that's it. Books finished is a red night again. Uh, let me transform that this day.
my friend here gonna burn and uh, you still steal my dirt oh boy okay well that's good it, it took some time now I have seared bricks when I get the first seared brick what happens that I receive I suppose receive at least a new book no uh, well I supposed to I have no idea what happened but that's okay Oh, I, I need to create uh, a block, I think. Oh, let me just check this. So, that's how I create the block. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. And I got the third and final book. That's the my, my smelting one. So, I don't need that. Uh, well, for those three blocks, what I'm going to do is uh, show you guys, like, you're going to need tons of this. To start, tons of seared bricks so I'm gonna use a lot of them let's start with 20 and then uh, I I gonna save the rest for later so with those bricks here okay where is oh, there we go found my things uh, you you know that I don't use that I didn't use that yet I'm gonna use the sum so what I'm gonna do is first create like a smeltery. How I do that? Easy. If you don't remember, you just need to open this and gonna show what you have to do. Uh, it shows hopefully what you need here, at least which one. It, well, with the name is easy to find how to do it, but I'm gonna show you guys. And you need to create something like this. So, yeah, that's the the base. Truly, in the early game that's not the one you wanna wanna have you wanna have something a little more than this and to have something better that's what I'm gonna show you guys that's a recipe that I use every time and it really works and uh, I'm just clean up the area here and uh, what I'm gonna need is first I create like a 3x3 three three hole on the ground and I place my blocks it's funny because in, in, since I'm creative mode I don't use my blocks so I'm not supposed to there you go, you're gonna need like to create something like this all good? well, probably guys think the one that know a little about the mod hey, where is the drainer? where is everything? I'm gonna show you guys, you're gonna be on second level so now what I'm gonna do is something that you have to do is when you close like a, a you do a chest with the, the blocks, you're gonna have your smeltery controller and uh, let's put that aside and another one that uh, you're gonna need is this one here that's the smeltery drain for this one I advise you guys to create like three of them right away yeah it's totally worth it you're gonna have three of them and then you're gonna need a tank but for the tank you're gonna need some class so uh, okay, regular glass I have here. That's good. And one in the center, and you just create a tank. All good. I advise you guys to have at least two of them. So I gonna need two pieces of glass. One, two. All good. Third and uh, not less important thing you gonna have you want to see what you have inside your smeltery so use like this and uh, I don't need to put 58 on the center just one but uh there you go seared glass truly has been like a while that I use this I have no idea what is the difference between a seared glass and a seared window uh, if I'm not mistaken this one just use a little more material something like this truly I think there's just a statical thing that I, well not a hundred percent sure I just always do this one here because it's the one that used less material at least less those uh, seared bricks so that's the one I use so why not right so I, I'm gonna create like uh, I'm gonna need three four of them so I have already two I gonna need another there you go and 
that's at least how it works. Uh, I'm saying I'm not really a specialist on this, but uh, I've done this for a while, and that's the one. Uh, that's the way I used to do. It's a pretty nice way. I, I like that. Well, for here I can have like two variations. Uh, first one you're gonna be when you put like a tank, uh, sphere glass, or it doesn't matter which block you put in the center. You can put any of them. And when you put it, it's memory controller on the other side. If you see the small fire here, it means it's working. If I remove that and I just put this, there you go. It's missing something, right? It's missing something on the center here. You must close that to make like a full square to have this. And when you click inside, you're gonna see you have like a three by three grid inside. It means that's the space you have. So that's how much ores you can cook at a time. So that's why I said you guys do it like a second and a third level. Why not? And for this, remember I said put a steering tank, another two, and you're gonna have like a th three layer area here on top. For this, what I'm gonna do, I gotta put one, two. Uh, if you notice, there's a hole on the side and a big square on the other one. So square is what the ore is gonna get inside, and this is the one it gonna ore is gonna get out. And on the third one, I gonna put like this. That's a homemade recipe for this. I kind of like this way because it truly gives me more from the material I have. And that's it. So once you complete something like this, you wanna do one and two, and you're gonna put your third drain here oh not here sorry <laughs> okay why is weird like this yeah I gonna show you guys and on the front part you're gonna need some glass I said at least four but uh, yeah truly I gonna need five all good yeah I said well it's better at least you can see what you have inside that that's the, the idea of this you don't need to have the corners you can have an empty like this or if you just are really perfectionist and want to make something really beautiful and want to make a square go for it doesn't matter so usually what I do uh, when you start the game you probably gonna place that in a cave it's good because uh, you're gonna have some space this side here you can have a wall so you don't need to access this time th this side here you can always have some drains on the other side if you're doing an open area but if you need a closed space do like this this is gonna be inside your wall probably gonna have like stone here or something you just dig like a 3x3 wall on the sand, uh, on the side and you create something like this it's gonna, it's gonna look amazing all good? well something you're gonna need now is lava so let's just remove those I don't need them anymore and let's get a little more lava than this and uh, it's uh, yeah you need to have one by one like you cannot have like 64 okay no problem good how you place lava you just right click on that and uh, well I just need w one bucket because in the creative mode I had no idea well anyway I said I'm not used to that and you can fill up to three tanks so you get a little a lot of lava for this you don't need to fill in the first moment just put one you're gonna have a lot of lava here and show uh, this is always bugging always gonna show like not exactly how much lava you have and you notice here I have a big 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 space so yeah the grid is huge because you have like a three by three three floors high so it, it, it's amazing for each one you're gonna have you're gonna have like 27 space inside and that's pretty good well now you must have something to drain that thing out and when you come here and you use the blocks here you're gonna have at least three of them and you're gonna have three series faucets and I don't need that anymore let me just get rid of my lava I don't need that I don't need this anymore okay I have three series faucets and what I'm gonna need is a table just like a table, regular table like this you can need at least I would say three of them again because I'm trying to optimize my space okay three tables 
three casting tables. If you do the opposite way, like uh, uh, letter U, you're gonna have this cast basin. That's pretty useful. I would say create three of them too. And uh, it's missing some blocks. There you go. Three of them. All good. Oh, by the way, I gonna need a, an extra block here. Just put on the bottom, just to show how it is almost night again. That I take me some time, right? Yeah. Okay. It's day. Why? Because I gonna put one here, one here, and one here. So I have like three of them. And when I put my casting table, I gonna put one on, t one, two, and three. That's kind of really weird. For the faucet, you're gonna put one, two, and three. But truly, create uh, at least another three of them. So you, I'm using all the blocks I can. I know that in creative mode, but uh, let's see. I gonna if the blocks are enough for this. Yeah, they are. So that's said. Put three stacks. You can have like six in total. Why? Because you're gonna need to place that in front here. Let's say you drain this, you're gonna fill that. That that takes like nine ingot space. It means if you put nine ingots here, you're gonna have what? A block. Yes, exactly. So that's pretty good. And but in case you just have like eight or eight ingots inside, and you misclick here and gonna fill this, not gonna solidify, not gonna become a block. You're gonna you're gonna need something at least to put it down so that's why I'm putting a table on the bottom and you have to shift click like you have to crouch and click or else just not gonna place in the right place so there you go and you use all your six here oh yeah you know there was a one inside that are not supposed to be that's why because I didn't uh, crouch and click now you have that pretty much done uh, let me get rid of things. I don't need more blocks like this, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Yeah, destroy everything. There you go. You, I'm not. I never use this. Uh, wow, well, you can like place here. Has a different look. That's all. If you wanna change for the other one, doesn't matter. All are good. And by the way, you can always use that to put uh, melted ore inside if you want to have, but uh, well truly, I never use that. I'm saying that I'm being practical about that. Those other here, it takes more materials, so I always create this on the first stage of the game. If you want to create something later, go for it, doesn't matter. It means, if I create one like this, I use like four series bricks. It's the same to create one block like this. So pretty good it's transparent you can see inside you're gonna see if you have ore inside it's pretty good 